Al-Muddathir, one endowed with excellent capabilities. With the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful. O you who have been endowed with excellent capabilities, arise with the divine message and warn, and your Lord do announce his supremacy, and purify your clothes and your heart. And idol worship, spare no pains to exterminate it and shun all uncleanliness, and bestow no favor seeking to get more in return. And endure your trials with perseverance for the sake of your Lord. And the day the trumpet of the prophet's call to the people is sounded, that will be a day full of woe and distress for the opponents of truth, for this day will spell final defeat of disbelief. For the disbelievers it will not be easy to behold the complete triumph of truth. Leave me alone to deal with him whom I created to whom I gave abundant wealth, and the sons that remained present with him, and I provided for him all necessary equipment. Yet he covets that I should give him more. Certainly not, for he has been a stubborn opponent to our messages. Rather I will inflict on him an increasingly overwhelming torment. Lo, he pondered and planned. Ruin seize him, how maliciously he planned. Again, ruin seize him, how maliciously he planned. Then he looked about to give his calculations and planning another thought. Then he frowned and scowled in disdain. Then he turned back in scorn and waxed proud, and said, this Qur'an is nothing but an age-long magic handed down by tradition. This is nothing but mere words of a human being. Soon I shall cast him into the hellfire. How should you realize what the hellfire is? It spares none. It leaves nothing unconsumed. It scorches the face, the skin, and the body. Nineteen wardens are appointed over it. None but angels have we appointed as wardens of the hellfire. We have fixed their number in order to purify and purge the sins of those who disbelieve. The result of this is that the people of the scripture will be convinced and those who believe will increase in faith and act with righteousness. And those who have been given the scriptures as well as the believers may both attain certainty and will not be misguided. And the people with diseased hearts and the disbelievers will say, What does Allah mean by such an illustration? Thus does Allah forsake him who wishes to go astray and guides him who wishes to be guided. And none knows the number of the host of your Lord but he. And this Qur'an is nothing but a means for human beings to rise to eminence. Nay, I call the moon to witness, and also the night when it departs, and the dawn when it shines forth. Verily it, the fire of hell, in itself is one of the great calamities, a warning to humankind. Yet. Whosoever of you wants to go ahead may do so, or whoever of you wants to lag behind may do so, for warning avails only those who are really keen to be guided aright. Every soul is bound to pay for its deeds. Different, however, is the case of the blessed ones. They will be in gardens inquiring of the guilty ones. What has brought you into hell? They will reply, We were not of those who offered prayers. Nor did we feed the poor, and we indulged in vain talk along with those who indulged therein. And we always cried lies to the day of requital, till death overtook us. That is why the intercession of the intercessors 
will be of no avail to them. What is wrong with them, then, that they are thus turning away from the exhortation of the Qur'an? They behave as if they were frightened donkeys, making others frightful too, running away from a lion. The fact is that every one of them desires that he should individually be given open scripture direct from heaven. This can never be so. The fact is that they have no fear of the hereafter. This should not be so. Verily, this Qur'an is a means to rise to eminence. Let him then, who will, remember it to win glory and honor for himself. But these deniers will not remember it unless Allah so will. He alone is worthy to be taken as a shield, and he alone is most worthy of granting protection.